So, welcome to Mars. Today we're going to be talking about what is arguably the best technologies within the game. And there is a bunch of them that I personally think are going to make you able to turn your colony into a thriving place. And in all honesty, it's, it's, it's really useful to have some of these. And we're going to go over these uh, in this particular video. So... First of all, I got my colony right here, and overall it seems to be going fairly okay. However, as you can see over here, I appear to have a couple of mines over here that are doing their thing. But they're not actually being operated by any colonists. And this has to do with the first technology that we're going to be talking about today. And that is the following. I managed to unlock it very early on. It is a breakthrough technology. That means that you will not necessarily get it in every single playthrough. This is the Extractor AI. Now the Extractor AI basically means that any metal extractors and rare metal extractors can work without crews at 50 performance at all time. Now why is this so good? Well normally what would happen is is that you have say an extractor, you build it. So let's just quickly build a metal extractor down here and uh, speed up time and uh, prioritize it of course. Normally what would happen is the uh, metal extractor would be manned by the colonists within the dome itself, which by itself is not really a big issue. However, let's say that you spawn in a map and that you have a lot of these underground rare metals available to you. Now, if you're playing on some of the higher difficulties, these underground rare metals are going to be extremely important. Why? Because you can export them for uh, funds back to Earth, which obviously means that you can bring in additional materials from Earth if you so need, uh, if you need them. So whether or not it's food, electronics in particular, which is uh, one of the big bottleneck technologies within the context of the game. We can actually power this up now as well. Let's uh, quickly run a power line there. So we can power this one up and I will illustrate to you what the thing is with this. Let's just quickly cancel. And... There we go. Should be building anytime soon now. But we can go over here just to illustrate my point. So these... Uh, these uh, mines normally would build, uh, would not be operating without any crew. Uh, you would also not be able to build them anywhere uh, near a dome. So you would need basically a dome out here to man all these mines. And then on top of that, you would need a dome with at least 12 people to run this optimally at all times. And considering we have uh, five of these, that means it would need 60 people in a dome to run all these metal extractors. And that, of course, takes away from other critical things, such as building uh, food, or at least farming food, building electronics, and other items. Let's just uh, quickly ignore the whole food starving issue right now. So as you can see right now, the metal rare metal extractor is online. It's currently not being worked, and there's no shifts being set up for the um, uh, for the evening and the night shift. But we can turn these on, then right click on these, and that will basically block this um, this metal extractor from anybody working there. But it we will still operate. Shortage. Which is actually really, really good. Now, obviously, this is not the most optimal setup. Normally, we would have like six, uh, five different rare metal extractors around this. And it would generate, well, three, four times five. That would generate four pieces of rare metals per soul. Now, on a standard spaceship, we would be able to squeeze um, 30 of these on there, generating, say, 700 million funds, which we then obviously can use for other things. Ignore these black cubes right now. But yeah, these uh, metal extractors in general allow for such a production capacity without needing any colonists, which means that your people can focus on more important things, such as in this particular case, generating food production, which is obviously very important. As you can see that I seem to be having a bit of a starvation issue as of right now. Now, then there is some other technology, which is also extremely good. And that is service bots, which I'm currently researching. Once again, this is a breakthrough technology. There is not a guarantee that you're going to get this. It says, non-medical service buildings upgrade. All service buildings will no longer require workers and operate at 100% performance. This means that we do not need any new workers to operate any buildings, at least service buildings. So let's say, for instance, we go to this here diner. Now, this diner itself 
uh, is, is pretty decent, but it needs staff in order to work. With this breakthrough technology, we'll get a button up here where you can enable it. And I will illustrate by looking, for instance, at this polymer factory where there is the same a similar button on the top, which is amplify. You will get the same button on the service buildings being basically where you can uh, use electronics to upgrade them. And never will you ever have to have any workers uh, operating these buildings, which means that you can use them in more critical facilities, such as this electronics factory or this farm, which for some reason nobody is working, therefore this crop is going to fail. That is a little bit unfortunate, so let's just uh, prioritize that. But yeah, those two technologies by themselves are absolutely mission critical. I cannot stress this enough, how incredibly good these two breakthroughs are. And if you see them, Grab them immediately because they are so incredibly good, especially the Extractor AI, which for some reason I got as the second breakthrough on this particular map, which by itself is a pretty difficult one considering there's this giant hole in the ground and everything needs to go around that. Then we've got another technology which is rather important, which is, uh, let's take a look here. The technologies that allow you, let's just quickly fast forward in time and to illustrate that because I do have uh, a bill, uh, a game that has a lot of this stuff already enabled. Let's go forward. We'll probably have some water shortages here as is standard and crop failure immediately kicks in. So as you can see, if we can find it, this is again not the right safe file. So let's just go to Soul 86 instead. Milestone achieved. Crop so, failure reported. Resources are low. So let's take a look here. And there it is. It's gene adaptation. Now, gene adaptation basically means that you get new crops, which you can use on your farms and hydroponics plants, which basically allows you to cycle um, food a little bit better and get higher crop yields, which you're going to need in order to keep your colony thriving when it comes to food. This colony in particular is not a really good example of that, as um, basically everybody is in the process of starvation, which is clearly not a good thing. Another couple of good ones are robo ro drone printing for roboports. More drones is always good, so if you have enough drones to do all the tasks available is also great. Uh, CO2 jet propulsion, also a great technology which allows you to build the small uh, jet engine craft which can basically fly around and uh, do thing, move resources around as they're going through the map and basically try to deposit materials where they are needed. Another very important technology in order to keep everything going. But yeah, overall, when it comes to the game, there is a lot of technologies available and a lot of breakthroughs as well, and you will not necessarily always get the same ones. But the ones that I've listed are in general really good and will allow you to make your colony thrive um, within the context of the game. We're going to wrap it up here. I hope that this little video was useful for you when it comes to looking at your colony and as well as the tech tree and basically make the right decisions in order to move forward as you can see i've already mined this mine out here and i'm currently in the process of building this stuff up with five of these metal extractors around this one source ready to mine completely automatically and there we go that is extractor ai for you extractor ai once again 50 percent uh, capacity it will run automatically giving you infinite resources at least until the resources run out and uh, yeah will allow you to get the amount of resources that you would require in order to um, get resources from earth and make your colony stable which this one clearly is not it's a learning process the game as of uh, recording uh, should uh, be out very soon thank you so much for watching and until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, each other.